The claims of the King of the Belgians, Leopold II, to the Congo were finally authorized by the leading European countries in 1885. In the very heart of the African continent, a state under the rule of the Belgian monarch was declared. Since the beginning, the Congo Free State was total mayhem for the local population and functioned as a universal concentration camp. The majority of the population, including women and children, were forced to work on the rubber plantations. Those who failed to fulfill their quota were beaten and mutilated. To keep the Congolese people under control, the king set up the so-called force publique, which were punitive detachments that cast terror on the captured country and its inhabitants. Fearing that their subordinates would simply waste bullets hunting for wild animals, the officers demanded that the soldiers give an answer for every bullet used and, as proof, presented a chopped hand of an African. It was not uncommon. When trying to justify the use of the ammunition, the colonists amputated the hands of not only those who were dead, but also of those who were kept alive. The atrocious exploitation of the Congo turned into a real genocide. In only 20 years, the policy of the Belgians led to the death of nearly 10 million people. Alongside the Holocaust, the genocide of the Congo population is considered to be one of the grimmest pages in the history of mankind.